Greetings everyone. Today we will do question number 12 of exercise 8.1. And question number 12 is ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to CD. AB is parallel to CD. It is given to us. ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to CD and AD is equal to BC. This is also given to us. Okay. Show that angle A is equal to angle B, angle C is equal to angle D and triangle ABC congruent to triangle BAD and diagonal AC equal to diagonal BD. Okay. So, first of all, we will do construction in this question. And the construction is, four things we need to prove. Okay. Now, construction is, through C, draw a line parallel to AD, which intersects AB at point E. Through C, draw a line Parallel to AD which intersects AB at E on producing. Okay. So this is the construction. Now proof. First of all we will prove part 1. That is angle A is equal to angle B. I am naming these angle 1 and 2. Okay. Now see. First of all, we know AB is parallel to DC. So, AE will also be parallel to DC. Okay, because we have produced it. And AD is parallel to EC by construction. Okay. This line is parallel to this. This is given to us. And AD is parallel to EC by construction. So, we can write AECD is a parallelogram. Okay, A, E, C, D is a parallelogram. And if it is a parallelogram, then its opposite sides are equal. That is A, D equal to E, C. Opposite sides of a parallelogram. I now see. But A, D is equal to B, C. That is given to us. This is given. So, you can see both EC and BC are equal to AD. Therefore, EC will be equal to BC. And if in triangle, the two sides are equal, then angles opposite to them are also equal. So, if EC equal to BC, then we can write angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Angles opposite to equal sides. This is the first step that we need to do to prove all the parts. Okay, this is the common step you can write for all the parts. Okay, now if angle 3 is equal to 4, now see what we can write. Angle 1 plus 4 will be, see, angle 1 plus 4, sum of co interior angle, that is 180. Sum of co-interior angles and 2 plus 3 is also 180 linear pair so see both the equations are equal to 180 so their right side is equal so their left side will also be equal ok but we have proved angle 3 is equal to angle 4 but angle 3 is equal to 4 we have proved above so, we can cut 3 by 4. So, angle 1 will be equal to angle 2. This is first part that we need to prove. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Now, in third part, we need to prove angle 5 is equal to angle 6. So, let's do the part number 2. Now, see. Angle 3 is equal to angle 5. Why? Alternate interior angles. And angle 4 is equal to angle 6, opposite angles of a parallelogram. Opposite angles of a parallelogram. Again, 
we have proved angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Prove above. We have proved. If left side is equal, then right side is also equal. Okay. This is part number 2. Now, part number 3. We need to prove triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BDC. Triangle ABC congruent to triangle BDC. So, let's make them congruent. In triangle ABC and triangle BDC. So, to make them congruent, we need three things. So, what are the three things? See, AD is equal to BC given. Angle 1 is equal to angle 2 proved above. And AB, AB common. Okay. So, these two triangles will be congruent by A, sorry, S, A, S. This is S, this is A and this is S. So, we can write AB equal to AB common. Okay, angle 1 equal to 2 proved above and AD is equal to BC given. So, the triangles are congruent by SAS. Okay, now part 4. Part 4 is prove AC is equal to BD. Now see, if these two triangles are congruent, this ADB and ABC. If these two triangles are congruent, then their other sides will also be equal. That is, we can write AC is equal to BD by CPCP. Okay. So, this is the question number 12 and it's an important question. I hope you all have understood. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.